guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with two of my really good friends. We've got Rachel from Rachel Lee over here. We've Hello. got Anna from Anna Elaine. If you haven't heard of these beautiful girls, you need to go and subscribe to them. Rachel makes DIY organization lifestyle yeah, videos. Lifestyle videos. Yep. And Anna specializes in fair skin. Pale skin beauty. beauty. Pale yeah. skin beauty. So we are just we just sat down and we just did our makeup. Like old school get ready with us, like chit chat. Yeah, like, and it was great. It was good. <laughs> it's been a long time. It's been so much fun. <laughs> Alright, so let's get into the makeup. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just good. gonna get started. Okay. Let's get started. This is before guys. <laughs> I'm gonna start with the L'Oreal Lumi Magique primer. And I'm starting with my Becca back lip. That <laughs> primer? I'm gonna use this Fancy. Other one. Fancy. <laughs> like, yeah, drugstore. We're all like loomy, like luminous primers. Mm. This one's <laughs> for pale people. I quite like this one. Yeah, I really like it. I think it's nice. It smells really good too. It smells, what does it smell like? Like, I can't put my finger on. Is it like a candle or something? Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure what. Can I just... smell your face? <laughs> It smells good. <laughs> it makes your skin so, it feels so nice. Does anyone else get a real ugly face when they blend in primer? Because you just like... I'm like... Mm. Like every time I do like, tutorials, I'm like this. But yeah, I know. <laughs> or you like blend it in and then you just like... <laughs> Me today, Max Studio Fix Fluid and NC10. And my beauty blender. I've got a Real Technique sponge. Designer brand Longwear Foundation in... I don't even know what colour it is. Nude beige. And then the Born This Way in... Natural beige because I'm like, and then I've got warm beige. Or <laughs> well, we've got all types of beige. I should have bought my snow <laughs> <laughs> or something beige. Oh, yeah, no, I'm never beige. <laughs> no. Porcel porcelain <laughs> alabaster. Ew, it just came out with like, <laughs> oh no, solid bit on the end of it. Yeah, th those ones actually do tend to do that. Foundation boogie. <laughs> Foundation boogie. <laughs> boogie. Boogie. Booger. Foundation boogie. Booger. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like Chandler Bing. I make weird jokes. Chandler Bing. <laughs> Chandler Bing. <laughs> oh my oh gosh. <laughs> oh, I love how they have the replays of Friends on TV sometimes. The one where Rachel was giving birth. Oh my gosh. And then like in the hospital, she had all these people like go and give babies and she didn't have hers yet. And then her next um, roommate comes in. Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> Janice. Yeah. And then she still has her baby before Rachel does. <laughs> she has like twins. And it's just like every time she comes on you're like, you don't expect it to be Janice. But it's Janice. I'm going to Yemen. Do you remember that episode <laughs> yeah. where he accidentally goes to Yemen because he's trying to get away from her? And then she was going to invite herself to Monica and Chandler's wedding. Oh. And, Ch and Monica's like, he's still in love with you. <laughs> and she's like, hit me up when it falls apart or whatever. <laughs> I definitely think my foundation is the wrong color. It's all good. I'm gonna just go back over the just. Like, look how good though. that color is for me. Yeah. That's a good color. That is me. really good. It's like natural, it's not too pale, yeah. but like perfect. <laughs> and look how orange I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look so pale. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you're milky so joe well. naturally. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, am, I know. Concealer, tart shape tape in fair neutral. Micro micro blending brush from Eco Tools. Got that at the Eco Tools e I want to say Hooters. <laughs> I got it at the Eco Tools event. No, I, I just like stumbled over my word. But she didn't say Eco Tools. <laughs> I thought you said I got it at the Hooters. <laughs> no, I just I can't speak. <laughs> I'm using my I always go to call this sharp tape shape. What is it called? Shape tart, tart shape tape. It's a bit of tongue twister. <laughs> as long as you don't say shart. <laughs> <laughs> I should take my foundation off and start again. It's really orange. Like really Ooh, orange. It's quite orange. It's oxidizing. It's orange. Like it's starting to oxidize. Yeah, girl. Look at your neck. Lift it oh, up. No. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> it's getting worse by the second. Oh my god. Round two. Because that's why I got rid of my designer brands one. Because I bought it because they came out with a pale color. No, it's, and it's not pale enough just, for you. No, it's just oxidized. So annoying. Whoa, that oxidized so badly. I know, it didn't look that bad going on. I, yeah. Maybe you have a skin type that does it. That's not even the darkest one though. That just started getting really yeah. dark really quickly. And yeah. I was like, what is happening? You probably catch up to us anyway. Because yeah, you do your makeup like so fast. It takes me like 15 minutes every day. <laughs> really quick. 15, that's really fast. Hmm? Like 15 minutes is me hmm. fast. Yeah, yeah. I usually dedicate like half an hour to sit there and take my time with my uh, coffee. And I usually have a YouTube tutorial on the side. I should do that. 
It's fun. I used to do that, but now if I get ready in the beauty room, like I don't have any distractions, so yeah. I just like whip them out. Yeah, <laughs> and it's actually good because I always run late. <laughs> Round two. Round two. Yeah, I'm gonna start with the stuff again. Um, backlight, backlight primer filter. It's by, so nice um, though. Becca. I know that Anna Edit loves that. Do it you reckon smells... it would be too dark for me? No. Does it blend? Is it kind of like not coloured? No, not really. Nice. It's just got like a bit of shimmer. Nice. Well, I have to yeah. try it. It's very glowy. But even when it goes on the skin, it doesn't look shimmery. Like, no. I just look it just looks dewy. Yeah. With this foundation this time, I'm going to use this one. At least I know with these foundations are good. The Fit Me ones, 120. Yeah. I love Fit yeah, Me. Yeah, hope, I hope Actually, hopefully yeah. that works for you. Oh, I really... I didn't bring my eye cream with me. And it's like, oh. Oh, no. Oh, this will be fine. Sweet. It's fine because it's far away. But How does your skin look that good? Like... Go away. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> Can look you how good her skin no. looks. <laughs> like, in which part? Like, like everywhere. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know, I just look after it. And... Oh. I feel like my new diet's really helping, okay? Oh, okay. Yeah. This is so I won't convert fun. people on your <laughs> video, but it, it's really, it's balanced my hormones a lot. Because this was the only area where I'd have, like, really no, bad No, but just, like, e like, even, like, uh, like your Sunscreen, pores. Sunscreen, every day. And... I don't know, I could tell you everything I do, but some people just, you know... I'm quite I lucky. guess I have a few years on you. Yeah, but also you're all smooth, real, like lots around here. The only place you've just got a couple little sort of breakouts there. Isn't that just hormonal though? Being yeah, down in it the is. Area? Yeah. Oh my exactly. God. Hormones screw up your skin. Uh huh. This is so much better. I actually want to go and buy this foundation. <laughs> Yeah. It's so good for. I'm gonna it is get actually, the. Um, it's a good staple. I have a subscriber foundation. actually wow. sending me the really pale color. Oh really? Yeah. They went out and got it already, and then they were like, "I can send it to you." And I was like, "Oh my gosh, yes, please!" But once I'm back from New Zealand, because yeah. that's coming from America, so it's like. Do they have a more pale one in America than we have here? Yeah. What color? They've is that? released 110? it. One o two. One o two. Because I have one ten. Yeah, yeah. And um, they come out with one called one o two and one o five. Wow. Um, yeah, so I'm excited. I even emailed Maybelline to what? ask them when that's being released in Australia because I know my subscribers are going to be like, do a review. Oh. They're already asking about the Two Faced Oh, that's new really colors. nice that someone's sending it to you. I know. Oh, I mean, I'm going to give her money, but I was like, yeah. But no, nice but like, that's nice that way she, to do yeah, it. has gone out of her way to do it. So I didn't ask her. It was just really sweet. Fixed. <laughs> yeah. I look so normal now. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good color. <laughs> I just need a um, lighter foundation for when I'm like days like today where I'm just not tanned. Okay. Yeah, I find it really hard to find ones that like, you know, match when you're halfway. I'm gonna get a tiny bit of my Kat Von D Locket Concealer Tattoo Stuff out. <laughs> Locket Tattoo Stuff Concealer. <laughs> <laughs> There's barely any left in this thing. Oh, that's the like, not the concealer cream. No, and it's not as heavy as you'd think it would be. Like, her but foundation it's probably heavy, like but... um, thicker than the cream because I find that one almost. It's a really pale color, so it's good to have, but it's not enough coverage. That is like putting mud on your face. Oh, <laughs> like it is that's so, so thick. thick. I'm using the Benefit Pore Professional Agent Zero Shine Powder. I discovered this during the week and it's so good. The only thing is like you have to put it in the lid and then like pick it up out of the lid and the lid's really small. I finally finished concealer. That took way longer. I was ahead, damn it. But I'm not doing powder, haha. <laughs> so I'm moving on to contour. Oh. I'm gonna use the Illamasqua Gel Sculpt and Silhouette, which you'll be terrified of. Do I Because it's like black. What? How do you use that? And then I take a real technique stippling brush and I just go like this. Because it's a gel, it's actually really not pigmented. And I'll do the side so you can see. And then it just makes... Oh, oh go. So so Shut the front door. And it melts into your makeup because it's a gel. Look at this. Wait. But it looks black in the I thing, know, but it's it looks, brown. I know, I used it in a tutorial the other day and someone was like, I How? thought, they were like, oh, that's black, don't put it on your face. <laughs> wow. Oh, cool. I know. Can you put it on my hand? Yeah, sure. Like, look at that. It's a lovely, oh, cool tone so... color too. And it melts. How much is that? Um, $18 on so good. Beauty Bay. Oh, I shut the front door. Do it, next time you do Beauty Bay, Beauty Bay. Beauty, Beauty Bay Smell order. It. It's delicious. Oh, I never smelt it in my life. How delicious is it? <laughs> <laughs> never smelt it in my life. <laughs> but yeah, the stippling brush works really well. So it just kind of... I think this foundation's oxidizing a little bit, but it's not as bad. No, it's not as bad. I'm still... Just blend it down your neck a bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It'll be fun. Wow. Maybe I'm more pale than I think I am sometimes. I didn't think that you were that pale. <laughs> yeah, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you got, um, old mate, Oompa Loompa in the middle of you. <laughs> Not Oompa Loompa, just golden bronze <laughs> goddess. <laughs> All right, we'll go with that then. Do you find really olive-based tans don't suit you? Like, do you prefer the warmer ones or...? 
I don't know. I just put whatever is on. Yeah, like Rachel with her beauty products. <laughs> just like putting whatever on. <laughs> what do you use for fake tan? Bondo Sands? Um, yeah, I like using that, but I've been using the... Oh, what is it? Let's tan. Oh, yeah. One recently. recently. Even when I used to tan as a teenager, that's what I used. Well, they're reformulated and their stuff's really good now. I'm going to set my eyelids with this Astralis banana powder that I dug out of my cupboard for the first time in a very long time the other day. And I'm going to bronze with my L'Oreal Glam Bronze Cushion de Soleil and this Exo Beauty Dense Fiber Brush. And I'm just applying concealer to all my pimples. <laughs> Your pippies. My pimpy. I'm going to do my eyes first. And I'm so excited. Where do I start, Crystal? Where do I start? Oh my gosh. So what have I got a combination? I've got Makeup Geek and Colourpop. Yeah. I just, I want to create my own palette, you know, have all the colours that I really want. So Crystal's going to let me test out some so I can work out what I want. These colours. So they're the Colourpop ones. They're like just all my favourite oh, colours. Look at that burgundy. I know, it's so pretty. I'm just using my Savvy Pressed Powder in Sand Beige. I don't know what colours these are and I apologise that I don't know. Oh, uh, that one's peach smoothie, There's I think. There's so much coming onto my brush. <laughs> I didn't realise it was going to be that much. Whoops. Wait, I'm going to do my brows next, so you won't hear I'll from me in the next singing. five minutes. Could just spin it up. Ah, on the screen. <laughs> on the screen. Doesn't, even, doesn't even look like I'm singing. Ventriloquism. Aha. I know that. Use my benefit browsings in number three. I'm using this little palette from the Le Grand Chateau palette from Too Faced. Le, Le Grand Chateau. Le Grand Chateau. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a Christmas thing. So I'm going to use this Mademoiselle blush shade. Oh, that's pretty. I know. It's a little good travel palette. And my fucking $160 blush brush. <laughs> so much blush. It's worth it, I swear. I know it's ridiculous, but it's such a good blush. Have you tried any more of their brushes? No, I can't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's the brand? Smith? Sur Surratt. Oh, Indian. Surratt. Ah. Oh, do you have Smith brushes as well? No. Oh. I've got Surratt, Hakuhodo, Hourglass, Exo Beauty, Fearless, One Sedona Lace. <laughs> I actually really want to get Eco one tools. of their brushes, but I don't know what I want. What brand? I was looking at Zoeva. But yeah, they're then... a good overall brand. I like Zoeva. And I like I love kits, but I just wanted to go in and buy all them all individual. Yeah. And just get exactly what I wanted. I'm gonna have to take like a notepad and write down all of these like the colours that you want. The colours that I want. For highlighter, I'm using Makeup Geek Lit. How's that one? Yeah, how do you like their highlighters? I love their highlighters. Especially this one. It's like a um kind of subtle, like gold. Gold, but also peach duochrome. Mm-hmm. But it's pale enough for me. It's quite subtle for like every day, this one. They've got another one called Glitz, which is very similar to Laura Mercier Devotion. So you'd really like oh, it. Oh, yeah, that one. I, yeah. Oh, I don't have that because I stopped using it. I started using but, Vanderland. Oh, is that I guess nice? switched them out just because I needed to yeah. change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I made a pretty good dent in the Devotion. Did you? Yeah, that's a good colour, eh? I was using it every day ever since you gave it to me. Yeah. When you got it. Which, thank you. No worries. Did you not like it? Did with... you get sent it? No, she asked me to get it oh, for it yeah. in the US. You couldn't buy it here. Oh, can I you get it now yet? I think you can get it now, but it's hard to come by. I have too many highlighters. I know. Just highlighters are the one thing that you just like hoard. Because they're so pretty. Yeah. A Matka Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Never ever use that in my life. Mine's Should all dried it? up. But yeah, I would recommend it. I've had mine for a few years though. And I've still got heaps left. Brows, I'm just using all benefit as well. <laughs> I can me, me too. Precisely yeah, my me brow too. and give me brow. I'm using the Precisely My Brow and the highlight product. This one. The Browtons, 3D Browtons? Yeah, this one. Yeah. In number two. Yeah, I wear two, except my gimme brows in three. I don't know why. I've got my Tardis Pro palette, so I'm just going to use that today. Pretty. Just random shades from it. I like oh. orange. Yeah, oh, it's nice. I can never seem to do the eyeshadow on my left eye as good as I can on my right eye. Yeah, that happens. Like... I don't know, just like the angles and... It's so annoying. I survived with like no fallout. Sweet. I wish I could do oh, my wow. makeup with friends yeah, every day. Yeah, it's nice. I know, it'd be so fun. That colour is amazing. The oranges and the pinks. This is what I do almost every day and sometimes I put more colour on to make oh, it more so dramatic good. and other days I do it less mm. and it's usually orange up top, pink underneath. Man, you're so creative with colour. Like, look at the freaking palette I bought. Oh. <laughs> but this is like honestly all I do. Oranges and pinks and that's it. I do browns, champagnes. I'm super basic. So yeah, I'm, I'm a basic bitch. <laughs> Good. I'm going to make this look different. 
I don't think I can do anything to make it look different to what I usually do. I always do the same shades, which would be this one, this one, and this one. <laughs> That's what I was going to do Why next. Why don't you do cool tones, plums? Because I've already got warm oh, tones. Huh. <laughs> well, you're stuck. <laughs> Ethereal? Surely you haven't used it in a tutorial. Well, mix, you're a bit of a mix. <laughs> you could just do a matte eye. With That's what I was thinking. I was thinking of taking a matte lid. It's not. It's not. Nice. <laughs> Unusual. It's different. And she don't have an Australian. Kim. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have an Australian accent, but I can certainly copy Kathy Kim. Kim's a hilarious. Cow. <laughs> I told you to get baby cheeses, not baby cheeses. <laughs> <laughs> I like to say sweet baby cheeses when something's wrong. Like sweet baby cheeses. <laughs> My. Do you know all of the colors off by heart? Oh, the ColourPop ones? I don't know. Earlier makeup, get, like, before I changed that palette, I could have told you everything. But now I don't know. Crusty build up on you. Oh, is that what you do with your build up? No, oh, I've never thought of that. You normally I yeah. wash my brush a lot, so it doesn't... You, you'd hate my brush. Even look at that guy. Yeah, what's wrong with him? He's even full of powder. He's fine. <laughs> Stop picking on him. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> oh, that's fine. Oh, <laughs> oh it's like, oh, look at the other end. Oh, <laughs> oh the spoolies get so gross. It looks like a fine cone. <laughs> You're like, look, that's really gross too. Yeah. There's hair in it. Yeah, well, there's fluff, there's fluff in this Mine's one. Mine's definitely so getting Because you put fluff. it up that way, right? Yeah. So then this bit doesn't get damaged. So you put it up that way it in your little thing. In I'm just using the Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light. I don't like you and you don't like me, but please, can we work today? Do you guys ever have pep talks to your eyebrows where you're just like, guys? No, I have it to wing liner, though. We yeah. have to do this so today. wing liner's more scary. <laughs> I've stopped wearing winged liner. Yeah, me too. I haven't, worn it. I haven't worn it in like six I months. I get a pencil I'm just so over it. it. Yeah. It's effort. And, and it's also like I always everywhere. mess it up, and then you cry and you stuff you, everything. Your liner always started. looks good, Rachel. I haven't done it in so long. You just do lashes. And yeah, it looks just awesome. lashes now. Warm soul mm. blush. So you can good. never open this. I love okay. that. That's what I'm gonna wear today too. Yeah, it's so nice. New favorite. Thanks, Nakia. Yeah, thanks, Nakia. <laughs> Got my Don't Be Afraid to Dazzle by Tarte palette. And I used this the other day for the first time, and I was just like, meh. But I've been using it every day since. So. What is that say? Like? Finally under eyes. What? <laughs> De <Dechim. laughs> You guys should leave a comment down below and tell us what order you do your makeup in. Do you do all your face mm. makeup first or do you do your eye makeup first? Because I'm an all face makeup person, then brows, then eyes, then lips. Whereas... I used to be all face first and now I just do like the base, like yep. with and powder. Your... And then I do my brows, then eyes, and then the rest of the yep. face. I'm the same, but sometimes I'll do eyes first because then I get worried I'm a bit messy and blend out my eyebrows. Well, if I do my brows first. Oh. But, and today, like I haven't even finished off my eyes, but I've like moved on to the rest of the face. I think because I don't know what I want to do with my eyes. Yeah. That's what I did. I was like, I'm just going to leave it for now and we can come back. Do some of this D slick. Wait, okay. I don't know, just like, you know. Oil control. Yeah. We're both like, whoa. Um, I'm going with Fifi, which is the sort of transition shade. Oh, and look, I cleaned my brush. Like the one I use for, usually this doesn't get cleaned much because it's always like transition mm. shade. It's always the same, like, yeah. like mine. Yeah, mine's usually <laughs> like that. But because I did my brush cleaning video. And I'm going to use my brush. highlighter from this. That's so pretty. Like yeah, it. that looks really good on you. I feel like it might be a bit dark for me. Yeah, but... I feel like it would be too. If I ever film makeup, I do my brows and then I turn off the camera and I'm like, did I do this right? Yeah. <laughs> Fix them and then oh, go back on camera. I always do like, that I for eyeliner, can't. like wing lash. I'll like start it and then I'll be like, okay, that's enough. And then I'll be like real close to my mirror just to make sure that it looks good. But what color should I wear today on my lips? Lucky dip. That no one. It looks like it will match. Really? Well, it's what like color pinky. is it? Yeah, I know. This is like my fave lipstick. It's number one. Yeah, pinky nude. Yeah. Or should I try a different one? Because I feel like that'll go with the eye color. But is yeah. it too basic, bitch? No, that won't go. Um, no, it's, it's like a gloss shiny one. Yeah, I never use it though. I just wanted to fill up that line. It's so pretty. <laughs> like a little storage system. <laughs> when I said that, I just, <laughs> I just wanted to fill up the line of lipsticks. <laughs> So I got that one because I couldn't decide on what other color. <laughs> I was in the US and I'm like, I really need one more. And I think I had all the other colors that they had in stock. And I'm like, I just need one more. Back then it was a few years ago and that was so much cheaper in the US. Mm. This change rate like, would have been better, wouldn't it? Yeah. Because yeah. like back then we had a higher dollar. So it was like awesome about yeah. stuff from the US. Actually true. so cheap. So 
it's good to get stuff that you can't get here, but yeah. there's no point getting things no. because it's not necessarily cheap. Not right now. now. And especially not now that we have Sephora. Exactly. Um, and Mecca are doing price matching. And too. Mecca are doing really well. Um, yeah, with their price matching. All time favourite benefit hula. Been a favourite forever. I always come back to it because it's just so matte and such a nice neutral colour. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get some tart stuff while I'm over in the middle. Yeah. Get all the stuff that you kind of can't get here. Like that cover FX liquid stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I want my shade of Lancome foundation, so I'll give you money for that. No, yep, because I can't get it. Right oh, on this. and Giorgio Armani Power Fabric, they don't stock my shade here either. I want to try that Dior foundation. Um, what is it called? Forever? Yeah. Something? The long wear one. Yeah. Mm. I have to pack light. I'm going to do so much shopping. The L'Oreal dupe of this. <laughs> yeah. Um, we don't have that here. Oh, oh yeah, I've seen that. It looks like this, but it's L'Oreal. Better than sex. And it's the same, because that's like my favorite mascara. Yeah. Yeah, people are saying that it's so good. Okay, I'll get like 10. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love going to like Walmart and getting all the makeup there. Uh, Target was good. Alright, that's it. L'Oreal, we're gonna get that. Ten of them. Don't forget about them. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna have to write a list. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll write your we'll list. list now. <laughs> not what I'm doing, right? Blush. Same blush as what you use, which is the Warm Soul. It is like the prettiest blush. It really is. You, is your it. container hard to open? Yes! I can't open it. You know yeah. why though? Because that thing should be on the lid mm -hmm. and it's not. No, and you kind of have to sit there and like, Yes! I can never oh. open it! So it makes annoying. me really angry. I like this mascara actually. It's mm. good. It's a really Whoa. good mascara. It's definitely Bring my favorite. natural lashes. Yeah. I don't think I even need. I don't think I need falsies you today. Don't. No. What the hell? Looks pretty good. Why do you even bother? They look so good. I'm amazed. They are incredible. Yeah, you have incredible lashes. It's the mascara too. Yeah, yeah, like but, that is a really you good wait, mascara. I've bought that with me as well, and that doesn't look like that. <laughs> do you know what's really bad though? The waterproof one. Oh. I have I haven't tried that yet. I hate it. Like really? I really don't like it. It's not the same. Like I just they just never are, eh? It's <laughs> always hard. Dandelion highlight. I don't know how to highlight. Rachel, stop. You can do makeup. Is it is it shiny? <laughs> like I can't tell. It is, it's but subtle. if you used a more like brush like this, brush. it would make it better. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay, I'll get my real And you just do it on like the tops of the cheekbones. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's Thanks. pretty. I reckon I'd suit that even. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, I'm going to get my Real Techniques brush back out. The Their Real Mascara from Benefit. This and I'm is using Roller Lash. Oldie but a goodie. I like layering it with the Too Faced. I'm scared of the Roller Lash. I love the mini one. Yeah, I used the mini one once and then all of a sudden I had this like weird eye oh. reaction. Oh. But I don't think it was from the makeup. I think it was to do with the medication I took after getting my wisdom teeth out oh. but it just was like oh. the same time and my face swelled up and was really that's like, really scary were, my eyes were really puffy and I was like is this the mascara or the medication so you just haven't used it since just yep. to be safe yeah yes I do remember these. that's when my face swelled up and got really puffy how long ago did you have them out August last year so it's almost been a year I had mine out in like uh, March or April last year oh my god I used to get the worst headaches and now I don't get them anymore same. it's so nice. oh my god it's, it's so, so good nice. Like, if you have your wisdom teeth and you get headaches, get them out. I was eating solid food the next day because the pain afterwards was nothing compared to the pain before. Mm -hmm. I'm using a Gerard lip pencil in Bel Air. And it's silly because they've got the name, like, right up here. Like, you need to put the name right down here so that when you sharpen it, you can still see it. <laughs> but I love this color. That looks good on your lashes. What are you talking lash? about? Yeah, oh, no, your lashes look massive. That looks massive. From underneath. Like, okay. Like Maybe underneath, they mm. look so thick. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> like when I look up at them. Yeah. Uh huh. Can we pause? I have to go get my eyelashes. I used YSL number one on my lips on top of that lip yeah, liner. Looks good. I feel like I need some gloss. Oh, that looks just too much. Maybe. I kind of like your makeup without. I don't like them. Let's get the glue. I'm using Exo Beauty lashes in uh, the feline. I did this. You know how you take lashes off like that? Hmm. And I did it in a video, and um, they were just cheap eBay lashes, and all the lash, like the oh lashes no. going out. And I'm like, nah, oh, that was a fail. Like the Ardell Demi Wispies, and then I cut them in half, and they're the perfect outer lash. Oh yeah, these lashes have so had their time. Oh, I think I'm done. Yeah, me too. Oh, well now I've got to finish my lashes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm sitting by myself, but I'm going to use Turkish Delight by Nars. Oh, my lippies. We ditched you. Yeah. So these are our finished looks. <laughs> we all just look like normal, our regular makeup, yeah, but it was fun to day. just chit and chat and 
get ready together. Yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah. But this is fun. Long time this coming, this video, actually, I, I feel. Wish Sinead was here. Yeah, we miss you, Sinead. We should do this more often. Yeah, deaths. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it and want to see more. Yeah, let us know if you want to see more collabs because this was so much fun. Make sure you subscribe to Rachel and Anna. And um, <laughs> go, go send them some love. And follow us all on Instagram. <laughs> and yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Hashtag Kiss Squad. <laughs> Thanks, girls.